Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. It is Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am back here with another Halloween candle review as I go through all of my Halloween candles and what I'm calling my Halloween candle review extravaganza. So we are back here today with Ghoul Friend from Bath & Body Works. This is in the three wick candle from this year's Halloween collection at Bath & Body Works. So this one um, has been around for a while and a part of the Halloween collection for many years now at Bath & Body Works. I'm not sure if we've ever had it in body care, but we have had it in the candle for at least every year that I've been shopping Bath & Body Works, which has been the last few years for me. And I believe that it's been out for a while. But yeah, this is kind of like a staple for Bath & Body Works Halloween. And I'm really enjoying this candle, actually. I feel like I never really got to appreciate this one in the past. But I'm really loving this one this year for some reason. So we're going to get into all of my thoughts on it. The notes, the scent, the performance, all of that in just a second. But um, yeah, so this one is currently on sale on the Bath & Body Works website for $12.95. This is as of Sunday the 23rd. I am pre-filming this video. Um, so that is the deal for that one right now because all of their fall stuff is on sale. And then I believe that there's like an additional coupon that gets you like an extra 20% off. So really really good deals if you want to pick up any last minute fall or halloween stuff um good deals to pick those up if you're you know wanting to get into some fall stuff and it's just a little early for you to start christmas definitely go ahead and pick that up because it is on a good sale but let's go ahead and get started with the description and then the scent notes so the description says it smells like a bright fruity and simply fab Fabulous, and it smelled like F A B U L U S. Um, and then the notes are dark strawberries, ghostly peony, and spine chilling citrus. So this one is kind of a complex fragrance for Bath and Body Works. Normally they, not even in a bad way, but normally they just head for easier scents where it's like really hones in on that one scent, where this fragrance I feel like kind of is a mixture of different scents and it's not just one specific scent. So for me I really do get a pretty good mixture of fruit, floral, and musk. Like that is really what I get Um, because I definitely get the fruitiness from the strawberry, maybe some raspberry in there. Like it's definitely got a fruity vibe to it and I think that that uh, works well with the citrus because I definitely get like a not a sour note but it's just very bright and kind of citrusy I don't get like an orange or anything but I just get kind of like a zesty bright vibe from this one um maybe a little bit of lemon in there but um really really nice and then I do get like a floralness to this one as well with the peony and it's just kind of like a bright, citrusy, fruity floral. But I also get a muskiness from this one, which concludes me to think that this kind of smells like a perfume. So that's a lot of scents in there, but I think you combine it all together and it kind of smells like a perfume. Um, if you want to compare it to a scent, I would kind of compare this one to Into the Night because into the Night is kind of like a musky berry type of scent. And I definitely get a berry note in this candle, Ghoul Friend. Um, and I, of course, get the muskiness from that one. And it does smell like a perfume in Into the Night. So I think that those are similar. Also, this one in Dream Bright, which is the new one for Christmas for this um, year. The Dream Bright uh, scent, I just talked about that on the Weekend Fragrance Roundup. I get similarities between this candle and then that scent so that's kind of a comparison but overall i actually really like this scent i think it's unique and kind of different for bath and body works like i said they don't normally go too like deep and they don't normally go out of their comfort zone of like 
gourmands are like making just a scent that they know how to do well. Um, so I think I can applaud them for doing well on this one because I think it smells good. Um, it's definitely something that's different and I haven't really smelt it anywhere. So I think it's kind of um, true to them and I think it's great that they did that. Um, so the performance for this one, this one's been doing really, really well performance wise. Let me show you guys. I'm going to pick this up and show y'all. The burn has been doing really, really good so far. I lit this one up about 30 minutes ago and it's almost pulled out all the way but as you can see it's got a really good burn so far um i'm about halfway done with it and um i'll be honest at the beginning i was very concerned because i burnt it and i saw the white things that were inside of the wicks i'm not really sure what that is but whenever i see that in my bath and body works candles sorry i'm trying to fix the camera now um, whenever I see that in my Bath and Body Works candles, um, I know that it's going to dud out. Um, so that was really upsetting because it was actually tunneling a little just because the wicks were super puny. Um, but then I just kept letting it burn and I let it go for like five or six hours, which is a lot for a Bath and Body Works scent. But I kind of just let it go and then um, it kind of came back to life and... I feel like it's revived itself now and I'm hoping it's going to be able to finish itself all the way down and hopefully it will extinguish itself at the bottom and not in the middle point. But the flames look really good right now. I'm not really cutting the wicks too much. Just if there's a mushroom head, I'm cutting that off. But honestly, I think for Bath and Body Works, you have to be careful when you're trimming the wicks because if you cut too much, they're going to get puny. Um, so I'm just very sensitive with the Bath and Body Works wicks. But other than the wicks, this one's actually doing well so far. Um, the throw and the strength is actually very high. I would give this one like a seven, um, kind of like in the upper middle. It's doing really, really well. I can definitely smell it. It's a nice scent and really, really nice just to walk into. Um, it's not smack you in the face but it's also not nothing and like you can't smell at all so i just think that this is a really really nice smell and it's definitely different for fall because i've been used to lately so much like spice pumpkin spice and you know patchouli and all these different fall scents so this is kind of like a spring scent almost so it's kind of odd to be smelling this right now but it's a delightful smell. So yeah, that is my thoughts on Ghoul Friend from Bath & Body Works. This one again is on sale for $12.95 online. I'm not sure if it's in your store or not because apparently the stores have been selling out of Halloween and fall pretty quickly with the fall sale. So that is good that they're selling it because I know that they're trying to bring in Christmas pretty quickly. But yeah, that is my thoughts on Ghoul Friend. Let me know down below in the comments. Sorry, just kicked the candle. Just kicked the camera. Um, but let me know down in the comments if you have this candle and let me know your thoughts on it. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will be back for another Bath and Body Works review in a few minutes. And I'll see y'all there. Bye.